If you've been looking for a video on how to record vocals in FL Studio but you just don't know where to start, you came to the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to show you guys every single step it takes to record vocals in FL Studio and actually get them to sound good. Maxim Core. Listen, listen, my diamonds they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing. I'm literally talking about from the equipment you would need, how to actually get your voice into FL Studio, how to set up that very basic recording preset to actually start recording. And little secret, there will be a free download to the preset we make in this video in the description below if you guys want that. But then what to do after recording, which is usually the mixing step. I'm gonna show you guys some secrets and how to get your vocals to really sit good in the mix and actually sound good. And then that final step, which is usually mastering, which is how you get your song to actually sound loud and just ready for streaming services. Now, before we do jump into the video, if you guys could do me a favor and go down and hit that subscribe button because I drop videos like this all the time and if you want to learn some more stuff about mixing, producing, and anything like that in general, you might as well hit that sub button. And also if you didn't know, I make presets on almost every single artist so if you want to sound like a certain underground artist or even a mainstream artist, go over to quintinbaba.com and I'll pretty much have any preset you need. But let's jump in the video. So let's get started with step one, which in my opinion is the equipment, what you're gonna actually need to record. So let's start with the microphone. So if we wanna talk about my setup, I have a Shure SM7B routed over into a cloud lifter, which is then routed into the Focusrite 2i2. Now this isn't the most expensive setup, but I'll tell you, it's not the cheapest. I believe this mic runs about 500, $400. The Focusrite 2i2 I think is like 150. And that cloud lifter is about a hundred bucks. So we're looking at about a six, seven hundred dollar setup. And then I've had the Audio Technica ATH M50X for like, I want to say six years now. And I'm going to run these into the ground because they're just, they're just great for mixing. But I also want to mention that when I started, I started out with an Audio Technica AT2020 mic, which is a hundred dollar microphone. And then you could grab yourself the Focusrite Solo, which is a hundred bucks. So you could have a $200 setup. And I'm telling you with the right mixing, you could have those vocals sounding amazing. Like I've seen professional artists record on hundred dollar microphones and drop those on streaming services. As long as you could get your vocals into FL Studio, you're set. All you have to do is learn how to mix, which I'm going to show you guys the basics of that in step two when we move on. But the most important thing is just getting your vocals into FL Studio. And I also have a video on how to record vocals into your phone, get those into FL Studio and mix those. So I'll have that link down in the description below as well. But as for now, let's move on to step two, which is how to actually set your vocals up in FL Studio, get your input going and just have your vocals actually recorded in FL Studio. So let's open up FL Studio. So this is what FL Studio looks like when you first open it. And what you're going to have to do here is go to audio settings just put this options menu right here audio settings and this is going to bring you to the input output section which is what you're going to have to set so since i have the focus right to i2 i have these device settings right here where you can change your sample rate which you pretty much always want at 44 100 and then your buffer size is actually going to be the latency so i have mine at 64 which gives me a round trip latency of 8.3 and basically what that means is from my voice going into the mic through the wire and into the headphones is going to be 8.3 milliseconds of latency which is not bad at all very easy to record on but in order to set this input in fl studio you have to click this drop down right here for the device and just find whichever interface you have obviously mine is the focus right usb asio now if you have a different interface i recommend looking up a video on how to actually set that up if you don't already know but it should be super simple once you have this selected all you would have to do to actually get the input going is go to wherever you want your vocals to be recorded in this case we'll say mixer track number one or insert number one and you're just going to click on that and this drop down right here that says none is where you select your input and as soon as you click this drop down it's going to show you every single input that is coming from your interface that you selected previously in that options menu so if we select input one you're going to see that the mixer is going to start picking up my voice we can, can see, see right, right now, now the input, input is, is getting, getting received, received in an insert, insert one, one. Let's turn that off. There's more to go over, but I also want to show you guys the other option if you have a USB mic. So you'd actually have to use the FL Studio ASIO. You click this, and then you're going to have to open up this buffer length panel right here. Now, if your processor can handle it, set it to the lowest amount, 256, because that'll give you the lowest latency. Now, there is still going to be a noticeable amount of latency recording like this. That's why I do recommend, if you can, grab an interface because that'll help that out but then you have to set your input and obviously mine is going to be analog one plus two focus right usb and your output would just be whatever your speakers are called now these are going to be different for you but you should know the name of your microphone and your speakers and if you can't figure that out this video might not be for you but let's go back to the focus right usb asio and let's actually set our input again so input one so one super important thing is going to be this button right here me personally i always keep it on these settings 
I only want to record the external input only. Basically what this means is if you put effects on any of these slots right here, and if this was post track, you would record those vocals with the effects on them. So you can never adjust them. You couldn't adjust the effects. Whereas if this is on external input only, you're only recording what's going into the microphone and those effects are gonna be applied after that. So basically just always keep it on external input only. That's my recommendation. Then monitor external input. Keep this when armed. We'll go over that a little bit later in the video, but I recommend keeping it on when armed. Okay, and then the last thing for actually setting up your mic is gonna be gain staging. Basically gain staging is where you're gonna set like the input volume of your microphone going into FL. So if we enable this again, and I bring my input really high, you're gonna see it's gonna start clipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if it's too low, you're not really gonna be able to hear or you're gonna have to yell. So just find a happy medium where your microphone is not clipping, but also your microphone's not too low for like compressors and other stuff to engage, which if you don't know what that means, we'll go over that later in the video. But gain staging, just ensure that your microphone's not clipping. That's really all you need to do. All right, step three is actually gonna be recording. So I'm gonna go over the full process of how to actually start recording your own vocals over a beat and everything. So once you find a beat, which just go find a beat on YouTube and either buy it or download it. But if you do plan on releasing that track, you're gonna have to support the producer and buy the beat. I have this beat right here. And one important step in my opinion is when you're dragging your beat in, make sure you drag it over the track header, which is right here where it says track one. It's gonna bring up this sample menu for you and you're gonna click audio tracks. Now what this does is it actually routes it over to a mixer track number two and it's just, it makes it nice and easy to understand where everything's going. So that's what I like to do. So now we gotta find the BPM. So let me throw my headphones on. And one thing a lot of people don't know is when you bring an MP3 into FL Studio, so zoom in all the way here, there's gonna be this silence in the beginning. What you're gonna wanna do is click S on your keyboard then hold Alt, left click, and just drag that silence out by going to the left, just like that. So now you wanna have that silence in the beginning. And now to find the BPM, there's a couple ways you could do this. You can either just start messing with the BPM and line up. You can see there's a beat drop right here. So we know that this is gonna be 122 BPM. Or if you want to tap it, you could just play the beat. we go 122 works okay so now we found that so now what i would like to do is actually start getting our preset ready let's move this over to mixer track number one so what we're going to do is select the beat let's rename this as well you can click f2 on your keyboard and we'll just name this beat then i like making my beat red boom so now we got the beat track and then i'm going to hit alt left arrow on my keyboard bring it over to the first mixer track just so there's not a free empty mixer track right there so let's get our input going so let's go to mixer track number two rename this we'll call this main vocal and let's just make it blue for the time being and let's just set our input boom so now you guys are hearing me through fl studio now i'm going to go over stock options for you guys first but i am going to be using waves plugins because a lot of the fl studio stock plugins are just they just don't cut it for me but the stock plugins are perfectly fine for a beginner so the first thing in my vocal chain and to get that vocal recording track ready is gonna be some form of auto-tune. But in order to have the auto-tune ready, we gotta find the key of the song. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, I have a website that I use. I'll have that link down in the description below, but I'm gonna get the key of that real quick. So I'm gonna throw this in here. It's gonna tell us our BPM uh, 122 D major. Let's run back into here. And there's a free version in FL Studio called Pitcher if you wanna use that, but I've never heard Pitcher sound good. So I recommend at least trying to get auto-tune, but let's see what we can do here. We were D major, D major, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible, but in my opinion, it's not the best. So let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds all right. And like I said, it works for a beginner, but I'm going to grab Autotune Pro, set that to D major and just keep it like this. So the second thing that I use in my chain is going to be a noise gate, which you can grab in the fruity limiter. Uh, so if you throw this on here and you go to the noise gate section right here, you're just going to bring the threshold up till you see it actually activating. And then you have to bring the gain down. Yeah. 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 So as you can see, this is taking out all the background noise that you guys might've been hearing before, which is just a necessity for making your vocal sound clean. Now, the next thing is going to be a fruity EQ. Now this is going to change for every single preset. It's going to change for every single voice. It's going to change for every single microphone. But basically, the, your goal here is to just shape your vocal for what you want it to sound like on the song. 
So for example, if you start taking out some low end, you're going to see my voice is going to start sounding very nasally. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's, and there's going to be a certain spot that you want that low end taken out for each song. For example, some songs might just have a tiny bit of low end taken out, and some might have it all taken out like this. For this song, we are going to take out a decent amount, and I'm also going to just slowly shape it like this. So we're not taking out all the low end, but, you know, shaping it down and just bringing it out a little. Now, as far as your mid frequencies, your mids are going to be like this part right here, just the mid end of your voice. I don't usually touch the mids too much. Like I said, this is just my first EQ where I like to shape the vocal. Then I'm probably going to bring in some high end to get that sparkle going. And when you add high end to your vocal, it's adding like that sparkle in that air, which usually sounds good, especially for a lot of a lot of underground artists usually tend to have too much high end in where it's almost like piercing your ear. But just do this to your taste. Let's see. I'm just going to I kind of want to hear the beat with it. OK, let's go. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So now we need a compressor. Now a compressor basically just helps your vocal stay at a common point instead of it varying up and down in volume. So we're just going to grab the fruity limiter and just use it as a compressor by going into the compressor tab right here. First thing we got to do is set the ratio, I mean the threshold down. So we're just going to bring it down a bit. Also bring your ratio up. You can see up in the top left corner, it says one point or two to one now. I'm going to bring it up to four to one. Now if you really want to learn compressors, I'd say just go watch a video on it, but there's a little too much to go over in a compressor. Just follow these settings for a majority. Let's bring this threshold down a bit. Yeah, so now we're starting to get a lot of compression, which is what I like. This is what I want in my vocal. I'm going to bring the gain up. Yeah, so now we got a nice compressed vocal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep out of lay. Yeah, keep in the lay. Yeah, I'm in the lay with a beat. Okay, there we go. So now we got our limiter set. At this point, what I'm going to grab is Maximus, which is a built-in plugin in FL Studio. We're going to go to the presets, and we're going to grab this de split band. Now, what a de does is literally exactly what the name is. It takes out the S's, so all the, the harsh stuff. So just bring this down until, until the S's aren't too harsh. Yeah, yeah, I'm in a, yeah, 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 stop all the cow. Yeah, it, yeah. All right, so after that, we want to kind of bring the vocal back up. So what I'm going to do is just add a sound goodizer, which is an FL Studio kind of famous plugin because of the simplicity of it. But, you know, sometimes it, make your it makes your vocal sound good. I always like the A preset. See, this already sounds good right off the bat. Yeah, huh? Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep yeah, keep it up. Baby, she got me a dog, but now for a simple recording preset, I think this is pretty much all you would need. I'm going to bring the de down a bit because it's a little harsh, but um, yeah, this is pretty much all you would need. Maybe a few more effects. I like to add a flangus and then just adjust the mix down like this. So it makes the vocal sound a little better in my opinion. Obviously, we need some reverb, so let's grab a fruity reverb. Where is the reverb? Fruity reverb too. Yeah. And let's bring this decay up to about three seconds. I'm going to bring this low cut up. Yeah. Yeah. And just take the wet down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babies came in with a bus. I'm in a hood with a. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, let's get a delay. So I'm gonna grab Fruity Delay 3. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Bring the wet down all the way for now. I'm gonna bring the level down a bit. Take the cut down, cut off a bit up. Right click and set this to one fourth note. And then let's slowly bring this wet back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you kind of get to test the, get preset the preset out. Preset just out. play the song play the and song, see, song, see what you sound like. You sound like. You sound By the way, if you're not hearing yourself, let's take this off. If you're not hearing yourself, make sure this is on when armed and this button down here is clicked. Because if you don't have that clicked, you're not going to be able to hear yourself. All right, let's hear this. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My shit is so different. Listen, listen. I think they don't drip it. Listen, listen. Bitch, you cannot even keep it. I'll put the drugs in the semen. You think I'm going to deep end? Yeah. All right, yeah, I like this. What I want is more reverb. Yeah. All right, so now it's time to actually record because I like what we have. All right, so to record, we want to right click this button right here and just copy these settings for me. And I promise you, these are pretty much the best settings to record. But all you have to do now is click R on your keyboard, and as long as you copy those settings and this button is clicked right here, you're gonna be able to record and watch. Maxim Core. Listen, listen, my diamonds they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. 
Get off of my shit, you look like nothing, nothing You cannot hang with us, bitch, you look like a gang to us You cannot rock with the chain with us, yeah. My diamonds ain't cleaner than your shit, you rockin' nothing but nice I got an ice it on my Alright, so now we have that in, let's actually listen to this Maxim Core Listen, listen my diamonds they glisten Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches Get off of my shit, you look like nothing Nothing You cannot hang with us Bitch, you look like a gang to us You cannot rock with the chain with us yeah. My diamonds they cleaner than your shit You rockin' the I'm just cutting that part off at the end But now let's just do a quick little ad lib track And what I do to do that is right click File Save mixer track state as And click this duplicated one Click F2 Name is ad libs. And then let's set our input here and take our input off of the other one so we're not having two inputs. Okay, and then let's go into the ad lib track. Let's bring it down a bit. Um, I'm just going to shape the EQ like this. Yeah, so it sounds like a telephone kind of. And then turn the delay on. I'm going to bring the flangus up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My diamonds they glisten Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches Get off of my shit, you look like nothing Nothing You cannot hang with us Bitch, you look like a gang to us You cannot rock with the chain with us yeah. And then what I'm also gonna do Let me turn this down Then I'm gonna also add the fruity stereo shaper And just bring this delay up slightly So you're gonna see that brings it into the stereo field So let's listen to this now Maxim Core Listen, listen my diamonds they glisten Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches Get off of my shit, you look like nothing Nothing You cannot hang with us Bitch, you look like a gang to us You cannot rock with the chain with us yeah. Alright, so that was step three The recording process So now we gotta move on to mixing And since we already have a beat a, Just a, a one track beat It's very easy to mix this So what I'm gonna do is just bring these all the way down I like to turn the master up a bunch and Then let's bring the beat in Maxim Core. I also like to turn my headphones up all the way. Just make it super loud so we can mix at a quieter level. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My diamonds they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing, nothing. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My diamonds they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing, nothing You cannot hang with us, bitch, you look like a gang to us You cannot rock with the chain with us, yeah. Maxim Core Listen, listen My diamonds, they glisten Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches Get off of my shit, you look like nothing, nothing all right, so that's what I, I like that right there, and I don't really want to mix it too much more because, honestly, I mean, it's just a simple track. I don't think we need much more. I might have added more, like, stereo feel effects, especially with that new fruity effect, the uh, the spreader. I would have added that on, but for some reason, I think I have to update my FL Studio still. I don't have it right now. But also, make sure you adjust this stereo separation on the ad lib track because that will really help you get that stereo field effect. Now let's move on to the final step which is mastering it and just getting your loudness out. So I'm going to right click on the master and reset it. So we're back at hundred and ignore this last plugin right here on the master. That's just so you guys could actually hear the, so you could hear what's going on in my FL studio. Now always add a soft clipper on your master. That's like the best thing you could add for super simple mastering. But what we want to do now is because this is going to be really quiet. We're going to have to get this louder. So what we're going to do is grab the fruity limiter, go to the envelope settings right here and bring them all the way down. So everything's at zero, bring the ceiling all the way up and just slowly bring up the gain until you hear the loudness that you like you can also bring in a reference track so just like go on youtube and download a song that you're trying to maybe sound like or like get a similar sound effect to bring that in and just solo that out see how close your sound is to that and just keep pushing the gain up until it sounds good to you you can push it a lot into the fruity soft clipper and it'll just start distorting and if that's the sound you're going for it could sound good now this is a very bad method of mastering you shouldn't really necessarily do this but i'm talking for beginners this is this is a great way to get your song loud maxim core listen listen my diamonds they glisten your bitch ass stuck in the trenches get off of my shit you look like nothing nothing
All right, so that sounds about good to me. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the beat. We're going to do a little bit of extra mixing here. And I'm going to pull out some of the low end. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My diamonds, they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing. And then I'm also going to add some stereo separation on the beat. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My diamonds, they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing. Nothing. You cannot hang with us. Bitch, you look like a gang of us. You cannot rock with the chain with us. Yeah. And then something I like to add on my master recently is this destructor. You can do some cool stuff with this. So basically just go to the empty preset right here then click this plus button at the bottom here. Let me just do this for you. Uh, let me go back to empty. Click this plus button, go to distortion and just bring this color knob all the way down and the mix down and then just slowly bring the mix up to your liking. Maxim core. Listen, listen. My diamonds they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing. All right, so here is our final mix. Let's listen to this. Maxim Core. Listen, listen. My diamonds they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing, nothing. You cannot hang with us, bitch. You look like a gang of us. You cannot rock with the chain with us. So yeah, that is the FL Studio Recording Vocals basic little masterclass. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you go down, leave a comment, and let me know what you think. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. That's all I got for you guys in this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Listen, listen. My diamonds, they glisten. Your bitch ass stuck in the trenches. Get off of my shit, you look like nothing, nothing.